Hi Aquarius, welcome to your spirit messages for the month of April. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, I decided to bring back uh, these spirit messages. If you're not familiar with my channel, I did them a few months back for a few months and then I stopped doing them, but I had a poll on my channel in the community section and this was one of the videos that was voted on, so I'm bringing it back. So I hope you like this, and if you do, leave me some feedback and uh, let me know. And for as far as I could see, I'll probably be doing these for a while. Um, so I hope you like it. So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or uh, Jupiter. And we're going to see what Spirit wants to tell you at this time. You can be male or female watching this. Take the messages that resonate for you. Um, and we'll see what spirit wants to tell you at this time. If you did participate in the poll, thank you so much. So welcome. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe at this time. So let's see. I think I'm going to move this. Okay, all the decks are also listed below if you're interested in what decks I'm using. Um, a lot of stuff down there in the description box, so please feel free to check that out. Social media links. Um, how to reach out for personal reading, your playlists are there too for your general and love readings. Also, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, that info is below. Also, Super Chat is open, but only during uh, the premiere. Um, if you'd like to tip or donate and not feel, if you don't feel comfortable using PayPal, you can through the Super Chat um, during the premiere only. And if you do, thank you. So, okay, Aquarius. Spirit, please. What do you have for Aquarius for April at this time? Oh, okay. We got two here. So let's get, I'm going to get three from each Oracle deck. And then I'll probably pull like one or two tarot with each card just for a little more extra meaning. And then at the end, I got these new decks, these uh, new cards here. It's actually two decks combined into one. They're actually uh, prayer cards, or you could call them affirmation cards. And I actually got them at the Dollar Tree. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to combine them together. And um, at the end, I'll give you sort of like a little prayer affirmation. All right, so we'll take that one. I'm not going to do the bottom of the decks, so not with these. I'm just going to pull three. So we have leaving. We have realizations and epiphanies. And we have changing your mind. So some of you could be leaving something here. So this is spirit messages. So if you feel in your heart there's a need to leave something, uh, it could be a job, it could be uh, a person, it could be leaving a toxic behavior behind, addiction or something here that you feel like you need to leave behind, leave it in the past. It could even be something, um, a situation maybe it's time to just drop it and leave it in the past and let it be bygone you know let bygones be bygones could be that kind of energy too so or you could be physically just getting up and leaving something that you feel like is no longer serving you so however that resonates for you and then we have realizations and epiphanies and changing your mind it kind of some of you might have thought about leaving but you didn't because you thought it was best to stay whatever your situation may be um and then it could have hit you like a big realization and epiphany that uh, changing your mind and leaving. So these are spirits messages. So if you've been thinking about leaving something, and I'm not saying to leave your person or to leave something, but if there's something strongly around you that's affecting you negatively or it's toxic, whatever, people, places, things, situations, what addictions, habits, whatever here, and maybe you keep ch changing your mind about leaving or dropping it or whatever and something may just hit you here like a big realization epiphany that okay maybe it's really time now to make a change or to leave something or whatever here so we're going to clarify with um tarot after so i want to pull that was from the butterfly oracle this is the flower therapy oracle so i'll get three of these for you Spirit may be telling you also, you know, stop, stop changing your mind. Maybe you say, okay, I'm going to do this. You know, I'm going to do this, leave this, or whatever your situation is, and maybe you just keep changing your mind. <coughs> and I think Spirit's like, you know, wake up. Stop changing your mind. 
you feel like this is the best thing for you to do, then, you know, do what's best for you. All right. So let's get three of these for Aquarius, three of these for Aquarius. What do they need to know right now? Spirit, please. Three messages for Aquarius. Thank you so much. Take that one, and I'm taking that one, and one more, and that one. Okay, let's see what we have. We have Simplify Your Life. Daisy, you've had so much going on that you're spread too thin. This has to change now so your vitality can recharge. So this could be leaving some, uh, like if you have too many uh, responsibilities, you're spreading yourself too thin, you're give, giving too much to other people, whatever, it may be time to leave some of that energy or drop some of those burdens. And maybe that's also relaying into that. We have here trust. You can trust the people around you. They are earth angels sent to give you the guidance you seek. Also trust people if um, they want to help you or lend a helping hand or take on some re responsibility. Trust here that they can help you simplify your life. And we have here New Beginnings. Advanced yeah, I don't even know how to say that. That almost looked like an air corn to me, but I know it's not. <laughs> take this, take this as an opportunity. Rise from the ashes stronger and more determined. So this is like, I feel like you'll have like a new beginning in life. You know, releasing some things no longer serving you, burdens or responsibilities or you know whatever here. So let's get. I just want to make sure you can see all the cards. Okay. All right, so let's get three of these for Aquarius. What does Spirit want to tell Aquarius at this time? What are the messages for Aquarius, Spirit, please? Can we have three messages for Aquarius at this time? I'm getting, like, trust the people around you. They can help simplify your life. And it's like you will have like a new beginning, like a new start, a new, like new um, energy in your life. All right, so what do we have here? We have cave, san uh, sanctuary. So a lot of man cave, you know, she shed, whatever, you know, creating your own space for you. Having some uh, time for you, I feel. All right, what else here? I guess these two. So we have DNA, karma. And we have dance celebration. So I feel like you'll be dancing, having a good time, feeling full of life and zest again. What's more, just go out dance, have a good time. Maybe some of you like to go out and have a good time. You haven't done that in a very long time. And, <clears throat> you know, karma here can be about, um, it can be about your actual DNA, your ancestry, that kind of energy. Um, Past life karma. But I just feel like, you know, whatever good karma you put out into the world or into your, you know, family, your friends, whatever, that'll come back to you. All right, so let's get, okay, one for leaving. Two of ones. Yeah, at a crossroads here. So that's what I felt like. You're at a crossroads here. Like there was something you needed to be behind or something and I feel like <clears throat> sorry I feel like you uh, kept changing your mind kept changing and changing your mind like no I have to stay or no I can't do that I can't leave that behind or I can't drop this can't drop that but some hits you like a realization an epiphany so what is that for Aquarius the mother so this is the empress energy so this is knowing your value and your worth so i feel like you know finally realizing your value and your worth um you could be a mother um <clears throat> or have to do with you, something with your mother here but this is also like birth of new things birth of new life knowing your value and your worth being you know stable and grounded passionate kind of energy having truth and clarity so I think, you know, if you've let people like walk all over you or <clears throat> maybe you've let somebody come and go out of your life, 
or something like that. Now I feel like Spirit's like, know your value and your worth. Stand up for yourself and realize uh, who you are, what you are. And stop being at a crossroads here about something uh, you need to leave behind or something here. And I feel like <laughs> Spirit's like, stop. Stop changing your mind. Stop changing your mind. I keep getting that message, so... <clears throat> All right, let's take this one. So we have the hanged man in reverse here for changing your mind. So the hanged man in reverse is someone who's gained enlightenment, who's gained new perspectives, who is no, re no longer still and stagnant or not taking action. It's in reverse now. So now somebody's, you know, spirits like take action now. Take action now. Okay, so... Let's see what Simplify Your Life is for Swords. That's that resting, healing, rejuvenating kind of energy. So exactly, you need rest. Spirit's like, you need rest. You need to simplify your life. And you need to rest, rejuvenate, recuperate, go on vacation, <clears throat> have some you time. And that could be creating your own, own sanctuary here with this cave. So let's see <clears throat> what the trust is. And the four of swords here is your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I'm not really going to do the signs. Uh, this is more of messages. So what is this trust for, for Aquarius, please? Eight of Wands. So this is fast action, travel, communication. So this is, you know, could be somebody coming in, rushing in to you um saying hey you know i want to help can i lend a helping hand or are you rushing to other people's finally saying you know what i need help <clears throat> only <clears throat> maybe approach people you trust and also people approaching you know that you can trust them so however that resonates for you <clears throat> boy i put a frog in my throat i feel like you need to communicate so we have new beginnings here. What is that for? What is that for? For Aquarius. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Nine of Swords, stress, fear, worry, anxiety. So, so it does say, take this as an opportunity to rise from the ashes stronger and more determined. So you can overcome this energy in the most stronger. And this, this could be you, like, you know, having so much going on, so much responsibility, or whatever your situation is. I mean, you could not be sleeping at night. You could be so strung out that, it, it you know, you're not getting any rest. And because we have the rest right here, Aquarius. All right, so what is this sanctuary about? What is this sanctuary about? The cave or Aquarius? I feel like this one. So we have judgment here, rebirth. So I feel like, you know, this is forgiving things. This is also, could be a resurrection of some kind, forgiveness, needing to make a choice, a decision here. <clears throat> so if you make the conscious choice here to create your own sanctuary, take some time for you so you can rest, um, even if it's going on vacation or just staying home, you know, just know that's probably the right thing for you to do. All right, so I'm, I'm getting to, like, you need to make that choice to be, you know, kind of quiet still and have some new, new time. So what is this DNA karma? The Queen of Swords. So this always reminds me of divine energy to me, like universe source here. But this is your energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I feel like, you know, you you maybe somebody who's given and given and given, you know, see the handout, but now the sword's up. So maybe time here with that sword to cut away things no longer serving you, telling like it is, standing up for yourself, having truth and clarity in your mind and in your heart, and um, speaking with open, honest communication. But I do feel like, again, because you have the rainbow there at the bottom for luck. So I feel like whatever, whatever you've been doing or have done in your life, all the good that you've done will come back to you tenfold. 
And you'll be dancing and celebrating here. Aquarius, having some time for you. All right, so what else here? Celebration, celebrating life again. King of Wands, King or Queen, doesn't matter. So, yeah, you know, feeling fiery, passionate, zest for life again. Go-getter kind of energy. Creative energy, maybe now you'll have more time to do creative things that you like to do that you haven't been doing or whatever here, or starting on a new adventure, project, something here. And being very fiery and passionate about it and being in that this energy. So that's a good energy. I just want to see what's on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, we have the tower here. So And there's the epiphany and realization. To me, this can be a big epiphany, realization, aha moment, something crumbling down, a uh, surprise, a shock, a change. So however that resonates for you. So I feel like a tower moment or some sort of change or something is needed here, um, Aquarius. So let's get one of these. Let's get one of these for you, Aquarius. Aquarius, let's get one prayer, affirmation, however you like to call it, for you, Aquarius. For Aquarius spirit, please, thank you so much. What is the prayer, affirmation? All right, there we go. So we have here, I will thank the Lord with all my heart. So be thankful for everything you have, everything that comes back to you in good that you've put out. Thank you, you know, thanking the universe, thanking source, your spirit, your angel, whatever here, thanking for everything uh, that comes back to you. And everything is divinely guided, divine intervention, things coming back. So just here to give thanks. Okay, Aquarius, uh, thank you so much and uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.